Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW X1 and you need to replace uh, ignition coil, guys, stay with us. We'll cover that. Also, we'll explain, guys, how to know which ignition coil needs to be replaced. And we'll, guys, share the order of the ignition coils. All that, guys, will be demonstrated today. And even if you have four or six cylinder gasoline engine, the procedure will be very helpful and it will teach you how to do that. Before we start, guys, okay, all the tools, parts, or if you need to buy a new ignition coil, all those uh, links, guys, to the tools and parts that we use will be shared in the description of the video below for your convenience. So please check it out, guys. That's where we get all our tools and parts from. Another thing, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Let us show you guys how we're going to do an ignition coil replacement and uh, how you can do that on your own instead of going to the mechanic. It's pretty simple. Now, before we start, okay, let me introduce you guys. This channel right here, this is our main channel, how to repair guys. We have helped more than 71 million people. That's our main channel and it's super popular. And if you guys have a car, okay, it can save you thousands of dollars on car repair. So subscribe guys, we're constantly putting new information that's very helpful. So, uh, now, if you have a BMW X1, doesn't matter if you have a four-cylinder, six-cylinder engine, guys, the procedure will be about the same. In most cases, okay, you can see we have the front and the part, but you don't need to do that. In most cases, you need to remove the upper engine cover on that six-cylinder. You just grab it and you pull it straight up. We have only four bushings where it attaches to the, uh, to the valve cover. Okay, usually it will be a little bit stuck, so give it a pull up. And where it attaches, right here, guys. Okay, and this posts right there so with that being said we have the ignition coils now you come on the very front of your engine and you have cylinder number okay those are ignition coils okay right here three on this side three on this one so you have cylinder number one two three four five six guys now uh, this ignition coil on cylinder number one two three four five and six right there so, how you guys know which ignition coil usually is bad? Let's say you have engine light on and you scan the system and it says code for ignition coil cylinder number 3, guys. In that case, you get code P0353 or it will state something such as ignition coil C. C means it's the third ignition coil, A, B, C. Then they go D, E, F. Or uh, the last digit of the code, 353, will correspond to cylinder number 3. If you have code 355, it will correspond to cylinder number 5, guys. So, with all that being said, let us show you how to remove and replace one now. We'll demonstrate just on one, but it will be exactly the same for all of them. So, we'll go ahead, pull the cap up, and it will disconnect the wire. Check this thing out now. Okay? And it spits the wire out. Then, gently pull the wire. Careful not to damage your cables. This one is a little bit uh, complicated because it's really close to the Valvetronic motor. Now, we'll grab the coil, just twist it a little bit left to right and pull up. It will be stuck, guys, because it gets on top of the spark plug. And this is your ignition coil. When you're ready to install it, if you need to get a new one, we'll have the link in the description of the video below where we bought our new ones from. You just go ahead, guys, okay, and install it. Get it on top of the spark plug, push it down, okay. Just find the spark plug, then push it down, click good, make sure it goes all the way down. Plug the wire, it will start closing the cap, and then manually press the cap and it will connect the wire. Make sure it's connected all the way, otherwise it will not be communicating and you will still get a code for, mis uh, for bad ignition code and misfire. So that's how you guys do it. Uh, practically it will be the same for most engines. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.